Hi, how are you everybody? It's Reed here. Now, if you've been following along our vlog series, man, what a crazy start to 2019 it has been. Of course, I was in Portugal for the European Championships not too long ago. Just a couple days ago, I was in Hawaii, Honolulu for Fight to Win 100 but the year keeps going. Things are getting bigger and bigger. I am here now in Los Angeles, of course, for this weekend's ADCC West Coast Trials. Uh, ADCC World Championships is coming up later this year, and this is the last chance for these guys here in North America to earn their spot in the ADCC World Championships. It is notoriously one of the biggest and most competitive tournaments of the year. East Coast Trials was at the end of last year. That one was wild, and I have a feeling that this one is gonna be even crazier. So one of the places I had to come while I'm here in LA is of course 10th Planet. Los Angeles HQ. Eddie Bravo is right behind these doors over here. He's gonna be teaching class. Um, and 10th Planet always brings a huge squad out to these events, especially the sub only and the ADCC events. Now everybody knows about guys like Gio Martinez and Richie Martinez, but there is a whole next generation of 10th Planet soldiers coming out, trying to make a name for themselves, especially at these big events like ADCC trials. Guys like Keith Krikorian, Ricky Lule, Marvin Castell, they have a whole huge squad of guys, so I wanna go out there, see who's gonna be training for the big competition this weekend, and maybe I'll get a few rolls in myself. Let's go. ADCC Trials, West Coast Trials. This week we got Marvin over there. Marvin's doing them. Um, PJ Bart shh, was going to do it, but he had knee surgery. Boy, Nathan Orchard, Keith Pecorian. Ray. It, it go, the list goes on and on. It's going to come down to your wrestling eventually. First round, you might not need your wrestling. This guy's just pure jiu-jitsu guy. Cool. And maybe second round, damn. You really didn't need wrestling wasn't that important. But damn, as you start rising in the bracket, shit, it's gonna come down. That's where all the, all the wrestlers rise. Yeah. You know what I mean? Looking forward to it. You know, we're down. We, we work on the most important aspect of points tournaments, which are passing, sweeping, wrestling. Those are the big three. We're spending a lot of time on leg locks, a lot of time on finishing fights. We do EBI OT. Um, on A, D, and H. On those days, we do 10 minutes of EBI OT. It's on the schedule. Um, today is F, so no EBI overtime today. So we're gonna, today, we're going to focus on butterflies. All right, guys, let's go. We got to start. Let's do it. from the omoplata position. Um, I just wanna, just wanna make one thing clear. I'm gonna start from here. Very important, my legs are squeezing together tight. They're not, this could never work. Are they open? I gotta trap this arm, this elbow, squeezing it so we can't pull out that elbow line. Once he pulls this out, I lost everything. I gotta start thinking about other options. Maybe turn this into a wrestling war, or just pull guard. Fuck it, you lost it. All right, but as long as you don't lose that elbow line here, and you don't let him get to this side. That's, you're, you're in big trouble here. You just, you were on offense, you had him in trouble. Now he has side control. That's horrible. It's a horrible swing. You understand that? So, if you lose the old block, you gotta have, Get that top position, you gotta sweep. Because in the guard, generally, generally, we're always trying to finish him off our back. The goal is to be up here. If I'm here, I'm tight here, there's no way he can get his body over there. 
There's the goal. Can I get up here from here? If I could be up here, I would never go. I would never battle it from here and then go back here. You understand that? So it's just a basic, basic order. See, I would rather have him square here and back. I would way rather have this. Are you kidding me? Turn this into this? I would way rather be here. If I lose all this food, look, I'm here now. Different sport. Cool, different sport. You gotta understand what's going on. All right, ready? class with like a simple warm-up, front rolls, back rolls, shrimps, car wheels, and then we get in our warm-up drills back here. Uh, we have a day of each week. Uh, we go through the drills. It's like a four-part step series, um, and we go, go through uh, flows that help us get hit every part of jiu-jitsu. Uh, and then after that, after we get through those four parts, we get into our leg lock flow. We have a leg lock flow of the day. Most of the time, Eddie's just like, there's no more new, there's no new arm bar, there's no new Kimura, there's no new technique. There's just live drills. Live drills until you're supreme. And, uh, you know, I feel like uh, you kind of have to, you gotta, you gotta focus on those live drills when, when it's time. And I feel like, uh, I, love the, I love the combination of calling chest hair day. Because, you know, only a few people show up on chest hair day because it's, uh, it's so rough. <laughs> you're tired at the end of the day, you're dead. For me, like ADCC is uh, where you got to you got to force this guy to engage. It's a huge competition, easily the biggest one, the number one of all nogi grappling. ADCC is where everybody wants to be at. Uh, for me, like I, I definitely want to win it all. I want to sub everybody, but for me, I'm going out there. For, I'm going out there to show everybody what jiu jitsu is about. I want to shred people. I want to show people what jiu jitsu, the meaning of sub only, the meaning of jiu jitsu is, and that's to submit your opponent. And I'm gonna do it in dominating fashion. So uh, yeah, you know, it's just definitely a huge tournament. Uh, I hope it's a huge turnout. I'm going out there as a warrior, as a martial artist, and I'm going out there to sub, sub only, guys. You're gonna catch me in some IBJJF too, you know, definitely coming out. Uh, I, I got some IBJJF I'm gonna hit like Chicago and um, uh, Vegas, but um, when I step out there, man, I'm going out there to bang with whoever. So uh, yeah, just expect fireworks, expect, uh, you know, serious, serious grappling, just pure Nogi grappling. There's no running, there's no backing up, there's only forward for me, you know. First, uh, first bit of the class, I believe, about halfway through. I think we're gonna about to do some uh, some rolling now, but did some lot of lot of omoplata situational stuff, which is good because I personally love the omoplata, one of my favorite submissions. Um, but man, Eddie's so technical in his instruction. It's a really fun class so far. Probably the biggest competition in the world. You know, I guess they, they consider it like the Olympics, and this is the trials for it. So if you win the trials, you have to go represent North America. In the, uh, in the you know, so that's the goal for, for most every grappler. Uh, well, it's, a, it's a wrestling competition. You know, that allows all submissions. You know, so if your wrestling's not on point, it's going to be real hard to make it to the finals. 
Uh, me, I'm hoping to make it to the finals, but main thing, I'm just looking for highlight reels. You know, I'm just looking to tie guys up, put my foot in front of their face, you know. Play legs and rubber guard pretty much. You know? um, some lockdown half maybe, but I'm just gonna just start jumping on legs and if they wanna give me rubber guard, I'm gonna play that, you know, or anything else that comes up, of course. Planet since as long as I've been here, it's always it's we, we rarely it's all it's all sub only from from day one. You know, of course, um, a lot of the tournaments I'll enter they might be point tournaments, but at the same time I'm never I'm never looking to win by points. I'm just looking to sub. You know, I might be down there's comps I'm down by by a ton of points, but I'm still just looking for the sub. You know, I'm either going to win by submission or most likely I'm losing by points. You know, sometimes I'm like, man, what was the score like five zero? They're like now it was twenty to twenty to two or something. But I'm, Really not looking for points, you know. So at 10th planet, it's pretty much all sub only right here. It's always nice when someone would say, "Oh, those 10th planet guys are always attacking. They're always going for the submission." That feels good. That means that um, uh, we're doing something right. You know? So hopefully we get some, you know, guys in Abu Dhabi. It's a tough tournament to win, man. That's a tough one. <laughs> but uh, we got really good guys, straight killers doing this thing, like Marvin and Jeremiah. I expect them to do really good. Marvin always pulls off some you know, spectacular stuff uh, when Flo is filming. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully we keep it going, get some more footage from Marvin. And Jeremiah hopefully gets a couple go-go clinches. You know. I want my guys to go out there and perform. And, uh, Put on a put on a show. Hopefully, you know anything could happen. You know, maybe we got, we go out there and we all get smashed. Fuck, you don't know. <laughs> I hope not, but uh, that's what I'm looking forward to. A good showing, good um, offense, good taps, good clips, Instagram material, that kind of shit. <laughs> got finished up here at 10th Planet HQ in Los Angeles. Man, my first time here at a 10th Planet, uh, so I think like I'm officially part of the team now, if I do say so. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But man, a, a, a great class here. Eddie taught it. I'm so impressed with uh, the system that Eddie and 10th Planet has put together. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu is so big. There's so many techniques. There, there's new techniques every day. You know, it, it, the Jiu-Jitsu techniques, they're growing and growing and growing. So to, to put things into a system like Eddie has done is really, really so impressive. And to see everybody kind of so in tune with the system when, when you come in here this is the advanced class so uh, presumably these guys have been here at, at 10th planet for a while now and they're just so impressed with how in tune the, everybody is with with the warm-ups and the way that these guys have, have developed a real system this is not a, a drop-in friendly environment you gotta you gotta have so much memorized man it's hard to just drop in and you don't know the system i make these guys remember all this stuff they're, they're warming up with a, a flow that would take a seminar to teach. So like I said, you can't argue with the results that these guys have, and it really starts with, with Eddie from the top, and, and it trickles down to guys like Gio, Boogie, Marvin Castell, uh, Jeremiah Vance, Keith Krikorian. Um, there, there's so, so much talent here in the 10th Planet mats. It's really, really impressive. So thanks for having me out, 10th Planet. Thanks for having me out, Eddie. Uh, really, really appreciate it. I can't wait to see these guys compete this weekend in the ADCC Trials. Um, you know, we haven't seen a uh, 10th Planet guy win the ADCC Trials just, just yet, but I have a feeling, I have a strong, strong feeling that this weekend is going to be a very, very good weekend for 10th Planet.